I am done with the Cleveland Browns at this juncture. There will ever, ever, never, ever be another roots in it for me to ever continue to follow this team again. I'm done with them. Wait a second. Dollar General's going there. Oh, my God. They're putting a Dollar General where family video was. I don't like it. I don't like it. I used to love that. Hey, I used to love going to that family video or that. That Dollar General right there, family video. I used to love going to that motherfucker, right? Because I like going to video stores when I'm bored and looking at what movies I want to get. Although it is easier than Amazon right now. But I liked it. It's closed. It's a good fucking it's a good store. But anyway, yeah, I'm done with the Cleveland Browns at this juncture. Um, they had their chance. You know, you went into the season, hey, you went into the season, you're like, oh, yeah, this is the year. I was like, oh, it ain't like last year. Last year, I was, you know, tentative. This year, I'm just positive. No, I was really positive that John Dorsey was the man, Mayfield was the guy, and I thought Freddie Kitchen would be good. Now, one thing I am positive about, and, I, and I'll say this without hesitation, I'm positive about Baker Mayfield. I have no problems with him. I know people might question him, but I have no problem with Baker Mayfield. I know he's a franchise quarterback. The problem is Freddie fucking Kitchens. I've never, there's only one coach in NFL history that could have Odell Beckham Jr. and not be able to get this guy the ball. His play calling is absurd. It's not Mayfield's fault. The plays are just fucking horribly designed. Hey, do you realize we do the same fucking play every week? We do the shovel pass. Every fucking week. We do the fucking, the screen that doesn't work every week. We do every fucking play. We got like nine plays and he uses them throughout the game like three or four. The guy's a fucking clown. He brought in Theodore Munkin, one of the most well-respected offensive minds in football, to be an offensive coordinator, to actually coordinate things, not call plays. Freddie Kitchens should have gave the job to fucking um, Todd Munkin, let him call plays like he should have, and this offense would be on track, and consequently our defense would be playing better. But because Freddie Kitchens is a fucking clown, you ever notice when you question his play calling or maybe someone else should take over, he gets real defensive about it, he's hurting the team. You know his old saying, if you don't bleed brown and orange, you don't matter. Well, Freddie, you bleed red, you fat fucking pig fucking slob. You suck. Freddie Kitchens has sucked the life out of this team. You can see it. You can see it. Hey, when you got players openly questioning the play calling, who, by the way, they're openly questioning the uh, head coach who's the play caller. I mean, Jarvis Landry, your best receiver. I'll be honest, I like Jarvis Landry. I always did. I was not a big Odell Beckham Jr. fan. I know what he can do. I know how he could be a valuable asset to this team, but Freddie Kitchens does not know how to use him. Freddie Kitchens don't even know how to use Kareem Hunt. You got a running back by Kareem Hunt and Nick Chubb, and you, you ran the ball six times in the second half last week against Pittsburgh. You're down seven. You were up 10 nothing. You should have been up again like the first game. We should have been up 50 to fucking nothing. But you're up 10. You're down 17 to 10, and you decide, oh, we're only going to run um, Nick Chubb and... Um, look, Hunt. Kareem Hunt, six times only. That's how asinine Freddie Kitchens is. He's the worst coach ever. He's the worst. Hey, and you know what? John Dorsey is a fucking clown. I question a lot of what John Dorsey does now. The pick. I, hey, listen. Hey, don't tell me. Hey, everyone's going to say, we should have took, man. We should have took uh, Lamar Jackson. We could have had him. Lamar Jackson, listen, he's doing great right now. He probably get the MVP. Pop, it's gonna probably be Russell Wilson. They won't give it to and they won't give it to uh, Lamar Jackson. Trust me, the NFL does not want that guy or that kid, whatever you want to call him, standing up accepting that trophy. They do not want that. That's a, that is a fucking that is a catastrophe. Handing that trophy over to that guy who can't speak. I don't want to hear it. It's, it's Southern Florida talking. No, he just he has trouble speaking. They don't want to do it. Trust me. But um, the only other quarterback I would take besides Mayfield is Josh Allen. That dude's a beast, and I liked him. But I like Mayfield. I've, I've seen everything I need to know about Mayfield. The problem is Freddie Kitchens. There's no doubt in my mind. May, last year, when we were running a normal Todd, Todd Haley offense that Freddie Kitchens used towards the end of the year, Mayfield thrived in it. Yeah, he threw three interceptions against the Ravens the last game of the season, but he thrived in that game also. He thrived in it. This year, Freddie says, I'm going to do my own offense, and he ruined everything. He ruined, They can't even run a simple... You think about this. They can't even orchestrate a simple screen pass. They can't do it. They cannot run the play. They also can't even run the... Hey, the, um, the shovel pass, which a lot of people think it's shuffle. It's shovel. Because, you know, you like this. You're shoveling. But the shovel pass, they can't even do that effectively. It is the most... Hey, it's the poorest coach team I've ever seen in my life. And it's all stems of Freddie. The non-discipline. Demarius Randall not playing. Come on. We... Hey... We need a new coach. 
and John Dorsey, you need to come out. You need to come out, not after you fire Freddie. You need to come out and say, listen, you made a mistake. You fucked up. That's what you need to come out. I don't want to hear. I don't want John Dorsey to come out and say, yeah, well, we wish it could have worked out, but it didn't. No, you made a mistake, motherfucker, buddy boy. You made a fucking mistake, you fucking clown. The biggest hiring, the biggest hiring ever in this franchise. And you fucked it up. You hired a guy. Let's just think about this. His only merit is offensive coordinator for the last seven games, eight games of the season. You hired that guy. And who'd you bring in for interviews? You had a well-respected um, uh, Bruce Arians. Oh, this would have been great because then, um, what's his name, would have stayed anyway. Freddie Kitchens would have stayed anyway. You could have groomed him, but thank God it didn't happen because Freddie Kitchens. No, I wish you would have had to, uh, Bruce Arians because Bruce Arians would have seen how bad Freddie Kitchens was and said, you know what, I'm taking over play calling. Bruce Arians, he would, hey, all you had to do is interview him. He wanted the job. He would have probably done it for free. But no. You wanted to be that guy that found a fucking genius. And you, hey, you set this franchise back. Because this franchise, what they did last year at the end of the season and what they're doing right now, they should be in the fucking playoffs easily. They had Seattle beat. Hey, we're up uh, 22 to, um, I think it was 13. 22 to 6 or 22 to 13. At Seattle with like two minutes left in the half. To, or a minute and 20 seconds left in half. We're rushing them. We're trying to rush the score. We're at the like six yard line. And for some reason, Mayfield threw an interception to change the outcome of the game. We... Why were we trying to rush the score? You want to score with as little as much time as left, you dumbass. Freddie Kitchens, I cannot understand what this clown does. He fucking sucks. But yeah, if you watch football, you'll notice. I had my doubts about Mayfield earlier in the year. I did when he was playing bad. I have no doubts. Mayfield's the guy. And the only other quarterback out of that draft that I would take is uh, Josh Allen. I know people say, what about Lamar Jackson? I don't want him. He's having a great year. Trust me. Don't want him. Hey, come see me next year and a year after. Don't want him. Ravens, uh, they hey, they looking like geniuses now. Trust me. Hey, if if it happens when he's great for the next five years, then hey, so be it. But I, uh, it's not. I, I don't see it happening. Trust me. I've watched enough football to know that that shit don't last. But if it does, hey, I don't need. Hey, here's the thing about Lamar Jackson. I actually like Lamar Jackson. I do. I used to hate him. I'm not gonna lie, but I actually like him. I do. I'm not gonna lie to you. If we didn't have Mayfield, if we didn't have Mayfield. I would love to have my. I would love to have Lamar Jackson. I like his. He's just a throwback football player. I do, but um, we got Mayfield, so I'm, I'm happy. Anyway, Freddie Kitchens, you suck. John Dorsey, you fucking suck. Season's a wash. Hey, I'm gonna tell you right now, Steeler fans. I know you guys just think you're going to the playoffs, and you probably won't make it because you're just not a good team. And if you do make, let's be honest. If Pittsburgh does make the playoffs, what do they get? They're gonna get blown out forty-two to nothing. They suck. We got beat by a Steeler team that is bad. I don't care if Roethlisberger was healthy. Hey, when Roethlisberger was healthy this year, they got killed by New England, who sucks. New England's 10-2, and two, but their offense is horrible. But like I say, Roethlisberger was healthy. They got destroyed by New England. Pittsburgh's not good. Their defense isn't even good. They just they benefit from a plan on garbage teams. So I bet you the Ravens beat Pittsburgh by 50 points the next time they play them. But anyway, yeah, Pittsburgh's not good. We should have killed that team. We should have. So I know the Steelers fans are thinking, oh, yeah, we're good. Yet. You guys ain't doing none, trust me. This is a, You guys should have... Trading for Fitzpatrick the first round, that was a waste of a fucking first round pick. Because you could have had a quarterback. You guys could have had a fucking quarterback. Now you got you got no fucking backup quarterback now. Because Roethlisberger, you guys already see what life's like without Roethlisberger. We're seven and five. Yeah. The most ugliest offensive display ever. You're seven and five based on playing shitty ass teams. Trust me. I'm never wrong. But anyway, I will say this, um, we need a new coach. Cleveland does it in bad shape. Would I take? I would. Yeah. Would I take Tomlin? Yeah. I'd take a fucking clerk at Walmart right now over fucking Freddie Kitchens. And Tomlin looks like a genius next to Freddie Kitchens. But don't tell me Mike Tomlin's a good coach. Good coaches don't lose when they're heavily favored against Tim Tebow in the playoffs. Okay. No. Good coaches go in there and destroy Tim Tebow. Good coaches don't lose when they're heavily favored to Blake Bortles at home in the playoffs against Jacksonville. That doesn't happen to good coaches. Imagine Bill Belichick getting beat by Blake Bortles and Tim Tebow. Oh, wait. Belichick played Tim Tebow the following week and beat him 44 to 6. So, yeah, don't tell me Mike Tomlin's a good coach. Mike Tomlin is average at best. The only reason he gets a pass is because he's an African American and people are so great. Oh, they're ecstatic about him because he's, he's black and they think he's good. He's had a Hall of Fame quarterback his whole fucking tenure in Pittsburgh with a stacked roster his whole career outside of this year. And what's he done? Nothing. He got one Super Bowl. Wow, big deal. 
Everyone talks about Bill Carr being a great coach. Bill Carr, he was way better than Tomlin, but he didn't have a Hall of Fame quarterback like uh, Mike Tomlin. He didn't have a Hall of Fame quarterback, but he did have a Hall of Fame roster. But he was he was about the same as Tomlin. Would I take Cowher over Tomlin? Absolutely. Tomlin's or Mike Bill Cowher's way better than Mike Tomlin. There's no doubt about that. But he wasn't a great coach either. He got one Super Bowl in fucking 18 years. So Cowher's average also. But I would take him in Cleveland right now. <laughs>